The project started when I was uh, nine months pregnant with my son, Sandino, and um, we invited Laura Rebolloso out to, uh, to a gig in Los Angeles. And uh, we, um, during that time, we decided to get together and uh, write, try to compose music together. Um, we managed to get a couple of pieces um, done, but we also didn't finish a lot of songs that we had started. Two years later, I decided to apply for a Fulbright to finish this project and uh, I moved to Veracruz uh, with my son and my partner Quetzal and we decided to finish these songs with that we had started with Laura and while I was there um, I reached out to other mujeres that were willing and able to compose and so that's pretty much how it started. My experience with this project is to be able to see the creative work, to be able reiterar que la cultura es algo muy importante para la vida, uh, que la música, en este caso que estamos basándonos en el son jarocho, pero no solo en el son jarocho, que es una música que viene desde cientos de años atrás, o sea, desde 400 años, pero, pero más allá, ¿no? O sea, que viene desde los árabes que llegaron a España y y los africanos que también estaban en España y todos estos viajeros que han llegado y también eh, los eh, caribeños, ¿no? Afri africanos, entonces es, es una mezcla, pero también sigue viajando, A ahora sigue viajando aquí, es como, como, es parte de la evolución. This project is an extension of uh, work that comes out of a, of a translocal slash transnational dialogue between communities in California and, and communities in Veracruz. And it's one in many projects. Uh, and it's one of the very few that is focused on women. And I think that's a, an important point to make when you're talking about this project because to really intro introduce this type of idea at first can be threatening or can be strange or you know to the men and the women Marta me invitó a ser parte de entre mujeres y este and uh, you know to to sing to sing and to write uh, on on this on this piece of music I too have like fell in love with 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 son jarocho y con con la música de Veracruz and and you know, when she told me about the project, I was just like super excited. Um, one, because I'm a big fan of Marta and Quetzal, and you know, since I was younger, I'd go to the shows and stuff, and so it was an honor for me, right? Um, because you, you know, when you, I mean, someone that you look up to invites you to sing, and it's like, uh, it's a big thing, you know? And, and two, well, it was, uh, you know, with, with, the, with the, the mujeres from Veracruz, Es diferente porque involucra personas que no hemos trabajado juntas. Hasta nosotras mismas que venimos de Veracruz, como con Wendy, yo nunca había trabajado en, en, ese, en sentido musical. ¿no? Con Laura sí muchas veces, por supuesto. Con Cali tampoco. ¿no? Y son personas a las que yo estimo mucho. Entonces, eso es lo más lo diferente, como unir todas esas energías tan distintas ¿no? y poder crear. Y, te, y al final tener un producto ¿no? creativo. Para mí es crecimiento, es experimentación, es atrevimiento también, es más seguridad de la que tengo y aprender, aprender de todas que que uno puede hacer cosas distintas a las, a las que, en mi caso, a las que he estado haciendo 20 años, ¿no? Entonces, para mí ha sido muy gratificante escucharme y saberme que puedo dar más o diferente de lo que he dado y eso solamente lo ha logrado Marta, Marta, con esta convocatoria. Tarima. 
proyecto ha sido más que nada un reto, un reto porque es, uh, es, son cosas nuevas, porque cuando conocí a Marta me, me dice, oye Chita, mira, tengo una idea, quiero que participes con nosotros en este proyecto, y yo, wow, es muy ambicioso, <risa> y no creo que pueda hacerlo, pero traté de, 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 de hacer lo mejor que, ¿no? que, que yo podía dar, entonces me parece muy interesante este proyecto de Marta con y todas esas ganas que ella le está poniendo es, es para mí es un reto. The lyrics, the messages, uh, the music itself, the way it felt, it's incredible. It's it really defines what uh, when women come together making music, how deep it can be. So I remember being on stage performing. Um, one of the songs, and it touched me in a way where I looked over while I was playing and I saw one of the uh, members of the band was crying. I feel like that's the beauty of music in itself. Um, the audience can take in that story and that experience, they can feel it, hear it, and that's, that was the beautiful part of this project. Besides the music and being women and whatnot, I was the only Afro-Latino in the group, so that was really special as well. Um, to be able to join these women and share their heritage. When Marta and Quetzal asked me to be on this album, I jumped at the opportunity. I was very excited to be involved because I knew what it was all about and, you know, and it was just, uh, it sounded very exciting. About a year ago, I read a book called Not For Sale by David Batstone and he's also the co-founder of the organization called Not For Sale. and. In the book, it told real life stories about um, about modern day slavery, and the organization is working at, um, to a, what they call reabolish slavery. And it was very um, impactful on me. I knew that that slavery existed in the world, but I didn't realize how much it was everywhere, in every country, in every community, and how much it's um, related to us. It's something I thought I have to write about. I need to, I need to express this in a song because I don't think that many people realize every time we go and buy a bar of chocolate, what's on the other end of that chocolate bar. There's a little, little boy and his name is Abdul. He does not read books and he does not go to school. Several years ago and he was stolen and sold. Now today is his birthday, he turns 10 years old. But there won't be any candles, any candies or cake Just a pain in his belly and a hands that ache Like his back is bruised from whips and chains From when he tried to escape for this he feels no shame Suffering a life full of pain and anguish In a foreign land where he can't speak the language Dreaming of the day that he'll be free But he makes them too much money So I went to the studio and um and they played me the beat and I thought, who can rap to this thing? This is impossible. Um, but I, you know, I stuck with it and Marta really helped me um, come up with, with words and, and really helped me get the rhythm down. And it was just a really, uh, an amazing experience and very inspirational to, to sort of work with someone that approaches music in a whole different way chocolate as if it don't cost a arm. yes he was a slave yesterday and today but tomorrow change can come his way hit them in the pocket that's how we gonna stop it think of abdul next time you buy some chocolate along with the kickstarter one of the women that we reached um, in the process and who actually donated to our campaign was kathy oliverson and she's the director for um uh for viva el arte in santa barbara and she approached us at a conference that we went to present at and she asked if we would be willing to put together the Entre Mujeres and perform in Santa Barbara for their Viva la Arte lecture and art series. And we were more than happy to do that. Um, it was a generous amount of money where we were able to bring out four women from Veracruz, um, Anaí Hernández, Wendy Carl Romero, Cali Niño, who now was now living in Canada, and um, Laura Rebolloso. Together, we brought them out, flew them out about a week and a half before the actual concert and uh, dates for Santa Barbara. And we rehearsed that week. 
Um, we also managed to uh, do a couple of gigs in the area. We did some workshops once we got to Santa Barbara, some couple of lectures and uh, a great performance and which became our Santa Barbara record release there. And it was great. That particular process was really uh, difficult, um, time consuming and, you know, to try to get everybody together to perform these songs. So the recording was very different, you know, because we could do it with time and, the, you know, the recording process was very different. But the, the performance, to have to perform these songs was a whole other bag. And that was, you know, that's stressful for anybody. And, uh, but I think we managed to pull it off and we had a great uh, reception and great performances every in Santa Barbara, both in Santa Barbara and in Los Angeles at Tropico de Nopal. It was very exciting to know that this project was finally going to like take the stage, you know, and that it wasn't just going to be uh, recorded in time on, 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 a, on a CD, you know, and that we were going to meet each other and, and, and get together. And, and a few of these women from Veracruz I had already I had met, and some of them I hadn't, I had only met the saludo, pero, pero no este, uh, colaborar así en, en un escenario, no? I really wanted to perform in the beginning, but Amaya was a month and a half old and I tried and I came to the rehearsals and I just I didn't realize that it was going to be so hard being a vocalist more than half of my life um, being a performer being on stage it's something that's been embedded in me you know that that work ethic to be able to be committed to something you know you you have to see it through but motherhood puts a big dent in that and um, I had a conversation with a friend who told me that I was going to have to surrender to that. I was going to have to just surrender and go with the flow. So I accepted that and um, it wasn't till almost, well actually over a year later that I was able to participate in any of the performances with Entre Mujeres. Going in the studio and it all being, you know, in the box and in the computer is one thing, but when people are playing and there's actually you know, a woman dancing zapatillado and, you know, and the, and the haranas are going or, and people are singing. It's a completely different feeling. It comes alive and it takes on its own life. You know, it, once it's out there, that's it. Rarely do we think of, of art, music and culture as something that all of us have a right to do and do in community. And so I think that this project also, although it is a CD and we are to a certain, we are selling it, um, it's mainly, I think that the process was really telling of how um, it was important because we collectively created this together. For a lot of the women in this project, it sort of brought them out of something that they weren't necessarily used to doing. Um, and so I think that's really important too. They challenged themselves and what they, how they conceived of music in their lives. Recording on Cheats Bus was, it was a little bit intense in the beginning because um, I felt like I'm such a novice in the studio um, and, the, and the people who are on this track are all like seasoned pros and so I was very intimidated and very nervous but I felt really supported. Esta nueva educación que eh, es parte de este proyecto de proyectar a, a los niños, a, lo, a las mujeres jóvenes, esta eh, dignidad del trabajo de la mujer, ¿no? O sea, que la mujer puede tocar un instrumento, que la mujer puede componer, que la mujer puede hacer aportaciones, ¿no? Es parte de la transformación para este siglo, ¿no? El, es, es uno de los retos, ¿no? Poder... Eh, Sin, sin caer como en una cosa así este, como de resentimiento a una mujer amargada, sino una mujer que propone y una mujer que sí, que es madre, que no deja de ser mujer, que tiene todas esas eh, eh, cualidades naturales, femeninas, pero que también enfrenta la, el, nuevo, la, el nuevo siglo, ¿no? en donde el hombre 
pues ya también ahí este, tiene que aprender a, a darle las mismas oportunidades, el mismo chance y, y a practicar así la equidad de género. It's been an honor for me to be invited in the Son Jarocho world with Marta and all these amazing Son Jarocho heavyweights uh, women. And it's a beautiful thing to participate. I'm doing a few songs and um, I was asked to do one song, to record one song, part of the recording Vida. And it was a great process and experience and um, just happy to be here. I think what they're doing is a beautiful thing, just in music in general, the fact that women are taking hold of stage and showing what they can do and, and they're very good at it. It's a, just a beautiful thing to be a part of. So I'm really honored and humbled by the experience. To me, Entre Mujeres is a collaboration of many amazing women musicians and I feel very honored to have been invited to play with the group. Everybody's so talented and you know, it's just coming together nicely. We're you know, finding harmonies quickly and just everybody's kind of fusing all their parts together. So my involvement with Entre Mujeres, I came to know of, uh, that project through my sister Marta. And uh, I sang a duet with Gisela, uh, who's from Mono Blanco. Talented singer, songwriter, beautiful mother, beautiful person. And it was a great opportunity to, to be part of a collective of strong women. Those women were awesome. I felt awesome being backed up by them. I felt awesome backing them up. I was hoping they were feeling my energy and, and it was really rewarding. There's women all over the world who are, are mind-blowing, talented and um, amazing, but you don't always get to see them because we are, you know, we work on all <laughs> aspects of life, you know, and sometimes, you know, the performance aspect is not always the thing that's in the forefront of, of uh, our our journey, you know, so it's really nice to see um, people blossom, and I think that that's people, something that people really like uh, gravitate to. Any group of people performing music together is powerful, but even more so, I think that it's women, and that we really enjoy playing together, and um, you know, we all really love and respect each other as musicians and as people, and you know, I think that all comes through in the music. All the time, when history is written. You know, women are written out of history, and so this is a way to ensure that that we 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 as communities are are writing women into history. Toma de mis brazos este viento que acaricia. Escucha mi canto que a lo lejos se divisa como cuando cae el sol ardiente mi corazón entre el mar y la tierra siempre correrán los ríos. Aunque estoy al efecto de la luna, siempre en mis mares tendrás cuna. she said was, uh, the song's called Sirena Lanza, there's the music, go. I was like, uh, okay. So I estuve quebrándome el coco and like, okay, you know, like I gotta write this song, but it wasn't really, it wasn't, it wasn't like super hard because uh, the music was beautiful, you know, and she gave me the title and, and, and of course I, I, I wanted to do a good job and I was inspired by the music. So I, I just imagine this. Sirena and what a sirena would say to to her lover or 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 to bring in you know al hombre o al o a la presa no it was 
was a great few uh, weeks that we that we spent that were really really nice and, and, and empowering no sobre todo because you see women of different ages from different places coming together to to play music and and uh, of course driven by 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 like son jarocho or la musica de veracruz but but also by this this new idea and this 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 convivio no de entre las mujeres that yeah some of us are from the states or from or live in Canada or in Mexico, lo que sea, but we're getting together together to make this beautiful music that I really can't say is just Mexican or, or de Veracruz or, or son, no? Es una música muy diferente ya, no? And uh, that makes me proud. Algunas personas me han dicho que, que le encanta, que le encanta esa esa unión de todas estas mujeres porque nos conocen en, en, en otro en otro ambiente no del son jarocho entonces de repente nos ven acá haciendo coros cantando otras cosas que que dices oh puedo hacerlo pero entonces le, les gusta les gusta no porque ven como lo, lo diferente que es cada quien pero a la vez podemos unirnos en eso ¿no? o sea, yo quiero mencionar que entre mujeres somos todas pero Juan es una base importantísima para, para que esto esté sólido, para que nuestra música no se desalga. Y entonces a Juan un abrazo cariñoso también porque nos ha soportado, porque nos sostiene eh, con, sus, con su bajo y con sus sonrisas también. For me, almost for like once in a lifetime. Like, when does this ever happen? And you know, and it leaves you with the feeling of this has to happen again. Like, this can't be over. Because <laughs> you know, once you get on stage and we played in Santa Barbara and Los Angeles, it was just a really beautiful experience. I've always been in bands full of men, or maybe you know, half women, half, but never full women. Never like 20 women on stage together. That's I didn't even know it was possible. You know. So it was, yeah, it was something that I'll always remember. I, I left with, with, you know, with the with inspiration of, of how you can make music, you know, with, 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 uh, with people far away from you. And that just because you're married or you have a child doesn't mean that it's over. Because that, that's a fear that, I, that I've had. No, I, I mean, I, I don't have kids yet. You know, to be a woman and be in a relationship with a man is hard sometimes when you're doing music. So I, I got that inspired by that, that you can make music, you can still be creative, you can still perform, you can still travel, you can still be uh, uh, una mujer de casa o una mujer del escenario y, 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 and, and feel like you're a, a complete woman. No? También es eh, el, el hacer música eh, o el comprometerme con mi instrumento, el viajar en mi, en mi instrumento, el, el seguir estudiando, es una manera como de, de decirle a, la, a las nuevas, a las niñas, a las jovencitas, que la vida para la mujer no se reduce a una minifalda, a un salón de belleza, a un novio, o sea, que, que, que no se reduce a la existencia de una mujer, ¿no? Well, I think for me, I've been a singer, songwriter, and performer for many years. I've always thought that lyricism or lyrics are an important source of knowledge, right? In this sense, to me, Entre Mujeres is really important. The implications of what this CD is, like anybody can take a CD and say, listen to the music, and say, oh, it's great music, but really, if you really listen to it, there's a lot of, of, of knowledge in these lyrics, a lot of experience, life experience. When you really stop to think about how this music was created collectively, across borders, the knowledge that you get from it, I think is so profound and meaningful, uh, not just right now in the present, but also in the long run. So as an archive, I think the process itself was really important for us in real time, but I think in the long run is, is um, even more so because I think it stands of a piece of many lives lived, collective lives living and, and theorizing together.
vive sobre esa 